Hey guys, so this is a 3D printer that I have shown you in my previous video. Turning it into this one, like here. And I have already started tearing it down because I have 3D printed all the support parts that I needed. So I have started tearing it down and we'll replace the supports. As you can see, I have already removed the first Z axis, Z axis uh, motor, and with the lead screw and the linear bearing also. So I have removed all the wires from the Arduino, and as you, and we should be able to take out the X axis carriage. So it is here. It is. And you can see I made it with alicomen first, with the linear bearing attached with a zip tied, and the timing belt going through the two holes that I made here. Yes, you can see it. Yes. So I will now replace all these with uh, all these alicobot parts that I have glued with uh, the, the printed part. As you can see here, we have a printed part for the, for the x-axis, sorry. So here it is, the printed part for the x-axis. I will now move it aside. Sorry, I will now move it aside. So here, he, here are the printed parts for the X-axis carriage, and I have also in, I have already inserted a linear bearing here, and I will insert another one. So I take out this one from the older version, hot glue that I have placed to secure it. Yes, everything is fine. So I should be able to insert it here now. Yeah. So I just insert this one also. So I have two. I have two linear bearing in this in this one you can see it fits perfectly i have uh, leave a little gap here to compensate with the diameter of the linear bearing and i will do the same with the other one here i have another one for the other side and i have already inserted the nut here for this one i will do the same for the other one but first we have to get this thing out we already have one so let's put it here here and we'll just force it into it So here it is, another one, and we have this nut here, which I will remove the first. This one. Now guys, I will be sharing with you the CL files for these 3D printed parts, if you are interested in making one 3D printer for yourself. You can print it if you have any local local service or for 3d printing and you can print this part and make your own 3d printer i have started with but i have started with the alcohol first i have glued everything in place and made a 3d printed out of it and i have printed this part and i and i am replacing it so you can do this also if you want you can make your 3d printer with chips material first such as wood or alcohol or even plastic i don't know you can just glue them 
and print the part then you you can replace it so i have inserted one and i will now insert the other one remove from the whole one of course so here it is and insert it down here now we have this one to hold the the extrude the hot end sorry so i will just remove this from the other one so i will insert it here you can see these yes so one linear ring i should have another one here but i will set it another time and i will insert the bottom one now yes here it is so we have two linear ring in it which will go into these these uh, chrome inox rod the smooth rod which i purchased for a cheap i will be sharing the links for the motors and the and the frame and the rods where i bought it so you can have it for very cheap and i will now insert it in this here you can see here and another one here sorry i've got some thing on it so now if your rod ends on a clean you should clean it first before inserting inserting it into the linear wheel ring because we have some linear balls that are circulating inside the linear wheel ring so if you insert it with some dirt you will you can just take the balls out which is not good at all so i will insert it very slowly here you can see we have this so this is our f carriage and here is the other side which i will insert here what here so here it is our x carriage you can see our x carriage and it's working fine Now what I will do is I will try to insert the the idle pulley here. We have and we should have an idle pulley here. So let's get it. So here is the idle pulley from the older version which I will remove. I will now insert the idle pulley here but before that I'll just do a bending here. Yes and insert the idle pulley in place. And then secure it using this, this uh, screw. Should be pretty easy to insert this one because it has a larger diameter than the screw, but it's not in. Oh, yes, we have to just screw this here 
and I can insert the ball, but not that necessary right here. So here it is. I just lose a bit the footy here, so here it can hold very easily. So now what I will do is insert it in the excavator again. Excavator again. Oh, sorry, Made a mistake. Should be like this. like this here here and we can now insert this here it should go like this on the other side so here it is guys, I have secured it and this one will go actually here but first we have to insert the motor in place first so I just grab the motor from this one remove it yes, here it is here it is I will now secure the motor in place here. We just insert it here. So I have already placed the motor right here. I will now just place the the timing belt in place I just secure it here move it inside this which comes right here right there and we'll just place it over here and going through it again until it comes out so here it is here is our excavation nearly done now we'll I'll have to repeat this process of tightening this up so I'll be right back because this is this can be quite tricky sometimes. So our X carriage is done. It's done. But this video is getting too long, so I will I will continue this tutorial in another video. But our X carriage is fine. So see you in my next videos guys.